Unlike a lot of foreigners living in Japan making videos on YouTube, I don't live in a big city. I don't live in a big city, but I do live in a city, technically. Politically, as a political entity, I live in a city, Chikugo City. But I live in a rural area, and I'm surrounded by fields. Ignore that, they're building some houses over there. This is more of a farming area of Chikugo. And when you're in a rural agricultural farming area, well, you see a different side of Japan. If you've been watching for a while, you've probably seen a few of my uh, old McSparkus has a farm videos where we go out and... <laughs> listen, not listen, I'm listening to that. And row crops. A few months ago, we harvested all of the onions and we have a lot of onions and you want to keep them good. If you live in Japan and you're in a rural farming area, you probably already know what they do. Or maybe if you've traveled through a rural farming area, you may have seen onions hanging everywhere. To keep them safe, onions get tied up and hung. We have that too. S sort of, well, yeah, they're hanging, but we're just we're not doing it quite right. If we were doing this right, our onions would be hanging here where they'd be out of the rain, protected from the elements. We haven't got any way to rig up the poles, or at least I haven't really thought of the good way to do it to hang our onions. We have poles to hang them. Well, as you can see, currently the poles are resting on my saw horses, and the onions are hanging in the middle of our deck. And to keep the elements of rain off as much as possible, I just pinched this blue sheet in the halves of the sawhorse and that's well it's not doing a bad job actually it's keeping them okay there is a method for tying these onions they're not actually tied in a knot it's just the way the rope is looped around the onions but as you can see since there's a couple on the ground well we don't always get it quite right here are the ones that fell off now i have never actually done this i have only seen it done kumiko's mother taught her how to do it and i watched kumiko do it so I am going to try. I'm going to try and retie these four onions with these ones that are hanging in there. Although just barely. I, I might have I might end up retying these ones too. Oh, there that one goes. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna be ending I'm gonna retie these ones too. Ow, that one got me in the toe. <laughs> I might as well just read the whole bunch. I don't know how well this is ah! I don't know how well this is going to work. I have a suspicion that. It might work better if the stems were still fresher because you can really tighten it in and then they uh, dry into the right shape possibly, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Keep in mind, I'm new to this too. Okay, you take four onions, get the stems together, put the string along from top to bottom down the stem of the onions. Then wrap it around once to the beginning, tight. Wrap it around a second time if I remember correctly, under the first, keep it tight. Then you bring it over and between half on each side of the rope. And oh my God, it works. <laughs> oh wow, first try. All right, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, let's do the other four. A little trickier now that I'm holding up the weight of four onions on the end of the string. Okay. Wrap it around once. Oh, they're all cracking. I'm okay. Wrap it around twice underneath and then through four or through between two of them and pull it tight and and I got it the first try. I'm somewhat pleased. Impressed with um, well, I'm very pleased. I'm somewhat impressed with myself actually, like getting it the first try. And give them a bit of shake, they're not falling off. Alright. Then once they're properly tied up. You hang them up. I think my rope's a little long, actually. That is not bad. Okay, I'm gonna tie the other ones up. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's all of them. And when I think about it, well, the second time you wrap it, you may actually want to go above the other string. That actually makes more sense. You wrap the first one around, and then the second time, higher up. And then down and under and pull tight, I think. Try it both ways and see which one fails first. Don't do it that way. I've been told using this onion hanging method will keep these good for six months or better, which is pretty good for non-refrigeration, especially since we're gonna be keeping these through the hottest 
most humid part of the year, July and August and September as well actually. It's hot and humid a long time here. These will still be edible for quite a while after that as well. Probably gone before then actually. We eat a lot of onions. That is one traditional food storage method I have recently learned here in Japan. I have no idea when did onions even come to Japan. I mean, I don't think these are a native species. I don't know how long they've been doing this. But I have seen onions hung around in quite a number of homes. Well, outside quite a number of homes, actually. This can't be Japan only. I'm sure people all over the world are doing this too, but I learned it here, so I thought I'd share. <laughs>